Hey guys, Ernest Langdon from Langdon Tactical here, and today we're gonna to talk about slide to frame fit on the Beretta 92 series pistol. Hey guys, I'm here with Jonah, my lead gunsmith and shop manager, and we're gonna kinda walk you through some things that you need to understand when it comes to slide to frame fit. Now the first thing to understand is, uh, when you get a new gun from Beretta, it's actually not a new gun. There's no such thing as an unfired Beretta 92. All of them, during the manufacturing process, go through a cycle machine that cycles that slide 200 times fully. After that, it goes to the gun range, it gets test fired, and it gets a proof round fired through it. So there's no such thing as a new Beretta. Another thing that you need to understand is that slide to frame fit doesn't necessarily equate to the accuracy of the gun. We all like a nice slide to frame fit, but the accuracy of a 92 comes from the way the barrel and the locking block interface with the slide. The sights are on the slide, that's what aims the gun, not the frame. So understanding that just because you've got some movement in your slide to frame fit does not necessarily mean that you have a gun that's not gonna be accurate, not have a good point of impact for you. On top of that, when you get a new slide from Beretta, for example, or a new slide from Langdon Tactical, like one of our new RDO slides, it may fit much tighter than your old slide. Remember that cycle machine and that test firing process is one of the things that gives the 92 that smooth slide operation that we're all used to. Now, so for example, Jonah here has an old Brigadier tactical of mine that's got well over 20,000 rounds through it and it's a little bit sloppy. Now, if we take that slide off of the gun and we replace it with a brand new RDO slide, it's gonna be snug. It may be not as snug as you would like, or it may be very snug because it hasn't gone through a cycle machine, it hasn't been test fired, so there may be some break-in time that is required for that. On top of that, when you put that brand new slide on your gun, it needs to be oiled properly. You need to make sure that that oil gets onto the frame rails in the locations where it locks up with the slide as well as where the barrel works inside for the barrel frame rails inside the frame as well. You need to make sure that it's properly lubricated so that when you're doing that break-in process, you're not excessively wearing the gun. So for example, we also have an M9 frame, an old 92 FS frame, if you will, and we're gonna put the same slide on there that we had on the BrigTac. So this gun has a little bit of slop in the slide to frame fit, but that doesn't mean that it's not gonna shoot well. The locking block and the barrel fit really well between the breech face and the locking block lugs on the slide, and this gun's probably a tack driver. We also have an M9A3 uh, that has a few rounds through it, not a lot, but we can tell we've got a kind of loose slide to frame fit. We put a brand new RDO slide on it, super tight, okay? So that gun's gonna need to be broken in, it's gonna need to be cycled, and it's gonna need to be shot. So there you have it guys. If you get a brand new RDO slide from us and you put it on your gun that's got some rounds through it, it might be very tight. So be patient, properly lubricate everything and take the time to break the gun in properly. You'll be super happy. Guys, go out there, train hard, stay safe. And we'll see you next time. All right guys, to keep up to date, make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube. For questions, go to langdontactical.com and to keep up to date with all the new stuff from Langdon Tactical, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Langdon Tactical.